All right, so we are up to example eight. So again, I'm just going to do more practice with these. So we're going to go through the six steps. Step one, and factor any denominators. There isn't any to factor. Step two, determine the LCD. So I have a 5 and an x, so it's 5x. If I set 5x equal to 0, x can't be 0. Step three, multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. The purpose is to clear the fractions. So I'm going to multiply everything <coughs> by the 5x. So this is kind of the hardest part. So if you multiply by the LCD and it doesn't clear the fraction, you've made a mistake somewhere. Yes? Are you able to, um, if you, like, can skip that step and not write it down and do it in your head, do you have to write it down? You do not. If you can skip this step, and on the next one I'll skip it, okay? okay. Um, if you can skip it, that would be awesome. So this is going to give me x squared plus x minus 10x equals negative 20. So I get x squared minus 9x, and I'll add the 20 to both sides. And I am assuming at this point you know how to solve a quadratic equation. We spent all of chapter 4 in it, solving quadratic equations by factoring. You spent time in algebra 1, solving equations by factoring. So I do these rather quickly because there's an assumption you know how to do this. So I'm getting x is 5, x is 4. Check it against my restrictions. Circle your final answers. All right, try example 9. Let me give you a head start. I'm just doing it again today. Sure. Whichever way you want to do it. If you're having trouble getting started, let me just get you, make sure you're on the right path. The LCD is x times 5x plus 12. So to find the restrictions, you set each of those equal to 0. So x can't be 0, and if I do this one, x can't be negative 12 fifths. And if you have to, do this step. I'm doing it in my head because that's more of an Algebra 1 thing. You subtract 12 and divide by 5, so I'm just doing that in my head. If that's too overwhelming for you, put the steps in that you show solving. That's okay. All right, so on this one, I'm going to skip the step of multiplying by the LCD. I'm doing it in my head. So I'm skipping writing it down. So if I multiply by the LCD, the x cancels, and what's left is 5x plus 12. On the right side, the 5x plus 12 cancels, and I have the x on the top times the x of the LCD. That's 10x 
plus 24 equals x squared. This is quadratic. Quadratic is when you have an x squared. So now I'm trying to think of two numbers that multiply to negative 24 but add to negative 10. So one of them's positive and one of them's negative. So 6 and 4 aren't going to work. So how about x minus 12, x plus 2? So I get x is 12, x is negative 2. Check it against my restrictions, and those two are okay. All right, questions on this one. All right, try example 10. I'll tell you this one is a fraction answer, so I don't want you to think you've done something wrong. It is a fraction answer. and get x plus 16 equals 5. So x is negative 11. I have to check it against my restrictions. So this one's good. All right, questions on that one? Correct. 
But if it's the only one, you say no solution. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. If your answer works out to be one of your restrictions, you have to cross it out. All right. Try example 12. any property that says I can multiply two out of the three things. Yeah. I'm sorry, you need one more? Yeah. Sorry. You're trying to isolate one your variable. is x minus 4, so x can't be 4. Now be careful. This 4 still has to get multiplied by the LCD. There is no such math property that says, I can multiply 2 out of 3 things. There's a multiplication property for equations that says, I multiply all of the left side and all of the right side. So this is x minus 3 equals 4x minus 16 plus 1 then this is a basic equation. So subtract, combine your like terms, and I get x is 4, but I check it against my restrictions. The answer you want to put in an answer blank is no solutions. 